Hi guys, in this video, I want to go through this leak code number 36, Validate Shadow Rule. So we have a 9x9 nine nine grid. Uh, we need to determine if this uh, Shadow Rule board is valid or not. So there are three conditions. Uh, each row must contain the digit from 1 to 9 without repetition. Which column is the same? Also, each of the nine by uh, not each of the three by three uh, subgrid uh, has to be containing um, not uh, one digit one to nine without repetition as well. And uh, so this is the example that we're seeing. And uh, and note that this is like this is a text. This is the text. It's not a number. Um, yeah, let's jump right to the implementation. So uh, we first want to have um, a dictionary. So the key will be uh, the key will be each of the rows, and uh, and also yeah, we want to have a a set as a value, and same thing for the uh, columns, and also it's the same for the three by three grids. So let's see. How we can implement that? Uh, first, we want to have a dictionary. So this is where how we're gonna initiate all the uh, the dictionary. So we have the row dict, and for uh, the number between, we can just hard code a number uh, from zero to nine. After uh, yeah, zero to eight, which has a nine number, and then uh, each of the elements will be empty set. And uh, yeah, so you do the same thing for the column. And then uh, we do it for the three by three grid. And know that uh, the three by three grid is the, the key is going to be a, a coordinate. So basically, we have uh, uh, this one will be a uh, zero zero. This one will be zero one. This one will be uh, zero two. And this one will be uh, two and two. Right. And how can we do that? Uh, is the following for uh, row in range 0, uh, range 3, and also for column in range 3 as well. And what we can do is have a, uh, how should we call it? We can call it a sub box. So it is how we can initiate um, the three dictionaries. After that, uh, we can start to looking through uh, those values. So for um, row, we can just uh, hard code it it's because we know that it's going to be nine by nine. And for column in range nine. Um, if um, so, if if the value is just a dot. Uh, we don't do nothing. And do a continue.
and if the value is already in the rows or is in the column or in the in the three by three grid and that's gonna be returning false automatically and then we can break out uh, the for loops so how can we do that is uh, if that is already in uh, say loading uh, row or it's already in the column deck or is in the three by three grid uh, so how can we find the three by three grid is we can just uh, take the module take the mode of it so for example um, the number in here the row is uh, is one index one column is index one as well and take the mode of it it will be zero and zero so it will be in this grid and in here where the row will be zero and the column will be eight and if we take the mode of it it will be um, zero and two the row will be zero column will be uh, two and sorry it's not this guy it should be it should be this You can assign this as a value. Value equals to this guy. It's easier to see. The code will be cleaner. Um, okay, so if that's already in the row or if that's in the if that's already in the row and also if that's already in the column or is already in the sub box and what we already do is to uh, return false because it's, that means the sudoku is not about it and um, else means it's not means meaning that the value is not in the row is not already in the row and also it's not in the, already in the column also not already in the sub box and we just add to it So, and then at the end, just after this for loops, and then we return the true. You can, if we can go to this stage, then that means the the so the good boy is valid. And let's see. Oops. Uh, let's see. Oops, this guy should be uh, like this. Ah, uh, okay, so yeah, should be this guy. I think to avoid some confusion, it's called sub R. It's not the same sub 
column just make it cleaner oops here should be column and the code that now works and let's see perfect so it's very really efficient as you can see and uh, in terms of the time complexity uh, as you can see uh, it's basically it's a, a number of rows pump number of columns and uh, so this big O of 81 uh, however for this we'll look up because we look it up from the dictionary that's constant time and so look up from the set as constant time as well so this is basically it's a constant time it's adding is the same so it's a big O of 9 times 9 that's big O of 81 and for the space complexity we need three dictionaries um, uh, so each one has uh, 9 rows so and then each of the rows has a set that containing the numbers so the, this one is going to be of 81 same as this one and same as this one so uh, for space complexity is a bit of 81 as well so it's pretty efficient yeah so this is my solution for uh, this uh, sudoku validation and thanks for watching see you in the next video